I have a comment here on my video uh, about the Israeli flags prophesy their future, part two. And uh, it says here, the Proverbs mom says, I have a question. I always thought the two prophets would be Enoch and Elijah, as both of these men were raptured before death. Moses actually died, which is testified to by Jude, that there was contention over the body of Moses. Are you saying that Moses will then die twice? The Bible says it is appointed unto to man once to die, and then the judgment. Is there something I have overlooked? Very interesting study. Thank you. Okay, very good point. And I appreciate this point, and I did not cover it in my study, so I'm going to cover it now. Um, turn your Bible to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. This is the um, verse that the sister was talking about here. Hebrews 9, 27 says, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Okay, now, the argument here is that in Revelation chapter 11, the two witnesses are killed. They're beheaded, and their dead bodies lie in the streets of Jerusalem for three and a half days, and then they're resurrected and go back up to heaven. So if that was Moses, then Moses, Moses would die twice. Therefore, that would overthrow the Scripture. But you need to look at the Scripture. Let's look at it. As it is appointed. Okay? If you have an appointment with somebody, can that person that made the appointment break that appointment? Yes. Okay? Who appoints when men die? God. Now, can does it say, as it is appointed unto men, unto every man wants to die? No. It's just as a general rule, it's appointed unto men wants to die, and after that the judgment. That's what's going on here. It's a general rule. But did God ever have men die twice? Let's look at that. Turn first in your Bible to John chapter 11. Sorry about that. I just heard a sound. I wasn't really sure what that was. John chapter 11. And we're going to go down to verse 11 here. Um, John 11, verse 11. These things said he, and after that he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus, Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may wake, wake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking rest, taking of rest in sleep. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, so to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. And of course, you know the story if you know the Bible. Jesus goes and he resurrects Lazarus from the dead. So then Lazarus never dies again, right? because it's appointed unto men once to die, so after all, he must have been raptured there. And No. Jesus rose Lazarus, he raised him up from the dead, and what happens? He gets old, and he dies again. He would have been a Christian there in the first century, and died, you know, he probably went and lived past the time of Jesus Christ, you know, dying on the cross, and he believed, put his faith in him, and then he died, you know, and he's a Christian. He dies twice. So give me another example. Okay. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. Verse 38. Matthew 12, 38. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Okay. Um, did Jonah die? there in the whale's belly. Yes. And then Jonah came, 
when he was puked out onto the, the shore and then he went and he preached, you know, um, then he never died after that, right? Because it was appointed unto men once to die. All men have to die once. No man can die twice. See, it doesn't work. Jonah died, was resurrected, went out and preached, and then he died again. Who sets the appointments? God does. So God decides if he wants to set an appointment for one man that he dies twice and this man over here dies once, it's up to God to set that appointment. Okay? But what about this thing of back in the book of Jude? The thing about where you see about the body of Moses. Jude. And verse 9. Jude chapter 1. Don't go to chapter 2 or chapter 3. Just chapter 1. Jude. Uh, the only chapter in Jude. Uh, verse 9. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Well, why fight over a body? What's the big deal? I mean, once you're dead, you're dead, right? You know, what's, what's the point? Why were they fighting over the body of Moses? Um, well, because if the devil knows that Moses is going to come back as one of the two witnesses, if the devil could have gotten a hold of the, of the body of Moses and taken it someplace, and here's the tomb of Moses, and all the Jews go to it, and they, you know, uh, have special prayers and special days where you make a pilgrimage to the, the place where Moses died and things. I mean, can you imagine the amount of worship that there would be over a tomb where Moses was buried? Because you have, you know, Islam, they, they believe that Moses, you know, was a great man as well and everything. So you'd have Islam, you'd have Catholicism, you'd have Judaism, you'd have all these different, you know, religions going to the tomb of Moses. So it would have been very a very good thing for the devil to be able to have that body. But you see, Moses dies, and there's no mention of where his sepulcher is. You read that in the Old Testament. And the devil and Michael the archangel are actually fighting over the body. Why? If Moses doesn't ever come back. See, if you could prove where the dead body's at, then you could say, well, that's Moses over there. This isn't Moses in the streets. See, that's what's going on there. So, uh, I hope I explained that, you know, clearly enough. But, you know, the fact of the matter is Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 does not overthrow the teaching that, you know, God can, it's, it's not that he's breaking his own rule. He's just, it's a general truth. It is appointed unto men once to die and after that the judgment. But the appointments are set by God. So if God says, okay, Lazarus died twice. Jonas, or Jonah if you want to say Jonas in the New Testament, Jonah Old Testament, he died twice. There are other people that are raised from the dead, they die twice. Okay, the, the young man that was in the window there, um, Paul's preaching, he falls down and he's taken up dead, and you know, Paul goes down and brings, you know, resurrects him back to life. He comes back from the dead. He dies twice. Um, Paul, I believe that Paul was when he was stoned at one point in time. And they carry out his dead body outside of the city and, and things. They weren't dumb people back then. They, you know, they weren't like, oh, I, I don't know, is he dead or alive? They could tell, you know, and they believed that he was dead. And at that point, I believe, is when Paul was called up to the third heaven and he saw heaven and he's like, wow, you know, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. I think it's when that whole thing happened. So Paul died twice. There's a lot of people in the Bible that die twice. So, you know, and why? Because the one who sets the appointment decides that. All right. So, uh, Hebrews chapter 9, 27 does not overthrow the teaching. And, you know, I, I thank the sister there for, you know, asking the question the way that she did. Um, it shows a desire to learn. Um, and so, I will hold to the teaching that it is Moses and Elijah that are the two witnesses. I just think it lines up the best with the other scriptures. I think it lines up with what the two witnesses are doing, um, what, what the Jewish people would want, um, uh, what they need, I should say, um, as far as somebody coming and witnessing to them. Uh, the, I mean, 
who among the Orthodox Jews or ultra Orthodox Jews, who's going to care about an Enoch? Like, oh, okay, hi Enoch, you know. But you get Moses and Elijah, the Law and the Prophets. I mean, whew, whoa, big time. There, Moses and Elijah were the two that showed up on the Mount of Transfiguration. It just it, it lines up, you know. And so uh, that's what I teach, and that's what I'll continue to teach. Um, so hope that answers your question. Uh, and thank you very much for the question. And uh, I, I do try to answer things as I can. And um, that's one I've gotten a couple times now. Different people have said that, so I, I did need to put this out. So that will be it. And I uh, just want to thank everybody out there for their prayers. Just kind of going, um, making sure there wasn't anything else I was going to say. I don't think that there was. So that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching.